Uh, these are my brand new badges, and there's 73 badges plus 10 keys. Is that all of them? Mm-hmm. Well, it took Melody two years to get all of those badges, and you could see all of the work that she had to do to get them. They're all listed in this book. She's checked every one off. And her sash is completely full on the front, on the back, it's hard to show <laughs> and all even the all the over the inside. Which one is the hardest to get? This one. What's that one? It's, I guess, like space stuff. Why was that one hard to get? Because you had to like, I had to look up a lot of stuff and write down a lot of stuff. And attaining all the badges is actually pretty rare. Girl Guides of Canada says it's a big accomplishment for a brownie. It's actually really challenging and we are so uh, impressed that Melody has, has accomplished this. I really wanted to get them all. How come? Because then I would be in the news like this. <laughs> She says one of her favorite badges was finding about her family history with brownies. Yes. So what did you do here? Who is this? This is my mother and this is my grandmother. So brownies is in your family for sure. Do they get all their badges? Uh, no. No. <laughs> the badges range from group activities to individual tasks like writing and giving a speech, researching topics like space, and building a garden in terms of developing confidence and resilience and courage and so that's the thinking that goes behind really developing these programs. It's special because it's a memory that I can keep forever and I get to see how much fun I had when I'm older. Well, now that this eight-year-old is done with brownies, she has big plans for moving on to guides. So this is your new sash mm -hmm. for guides. Does it look all empty to you? Yeah, really. So how soon do you think you'll have that one filled up? Um, probably by one or two years. Well, she'll get to start filling up that sash this fall. She's hoping that by the end of three years, she'll actually need a double sash. In Bowmanville, Audra Brown, City News.